Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to perform a p-delta analysis in SkySiv Structural 3D which is a cloud-based structural analysis software. So when does a p-delta analysis come in handy uh, or when should you run a p-delta analysis? And the answer to that question is when you have a member that is deflecting laterally or sideways and is also experiencing axial loads then you should consider uh, a p-delta analysis. So I'll demonstrate this by just setting up a simple column which is three meters high. And I'll make the column uh, have structural steel material and we'll make it a square section 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters. And let's just look at this in 3D by using the 3D renderer. Just making sure that it's right. Yeah, it looks about right. Okay, and I'll support it at the base uh, with a fully fixed support. And I'm going to add a point load at the top, a uh, sideways point load in the x axis of 1 kilonewton. Okay, now we're ready to run an analysis. So I'll just run a normal linear static analysis. Okay, so we have a deflection of 86 millimeters. So remember that number, 86 millimeters. Now, if I add a point load at the top of, let's say, 5 kilonewtons, so a significant axial load, and run the same analysis, do we expect that the deflection would be more or less? Obviously, if the member is deflecting sideways and you add a 5 kilonewton load, the lateral deflection should increase. So let's see what happens when we run a linear static analysis. So remember, it was 86 millimeters before. Let's look at displacement. And it's 86 millimeters again. So why didn't the, the 5 kilonewton load affect our sideways or lateral displacement? And the answer to that question is because a linear static analysis, a standard linear static analysis, does not take into effect, uh, does not take into account p delta effects. So to do this, we need to run a p delta or nonlinear analysis. So to do that in this software, it's as simple as just hovering over the solve button and clicking p delta analysis. So we had 86 millimeters before, but a p-delta analysis is saying that we have 104 millimeters. So it's you know it's increased 20%. So this is much more accurate when you run a p-delta analysis. Okay, so let's go through a more practical or real life example. So I'll just open up this file. Now this is a multi-story frame, so we, it's four stories and the structure is 20 meters high and we have at the base we have fully fixed supports and on every level we've got 20 kilonewton per meter distributed loads I've also turned on the self weight um, because that's how gravity loads and at the top I've also got some significant uh, vertical loads now if we zoom in we can see I've also added a small or relatively small um, compared to the rest of the loads, uh, 50 kilonewton um, sideways load or lateral load, and that's acting at the top corner of the structure. Okay, so let's solve this using just a linear static analysis. Okay, so linear static analysis is complete, and let's look at the deflection. So I'll turn on the total deflection. So we can see in the top corner there the total deflection or the maximum deflection of the structure is around 250 millimeters. Okay so let's let's leave this open so we can compare it to a p-delta analysis. So just opening up a new tab which is great about this software if you want to run a another analysis you just have to open up a new tab because it runs through your browser. So I'll open up same file again, but this time I'll run a p-delta analysis. Okay, now p-delta analysis can take longer uh, 
to solve. So let's be patient and wait for it to finish. Okay, now it's done and let's look at the displacement now. So again I'll turn on the total displacement. Okay, so in that top corner the total displacement is around 350 millimeters. So if we go back and just look at the linear static analysis of saying 250 millimeters. So it's a very big difference. So in, in this model P delta effects were uh, very significant. So if I prepared a table here and we can look at uh, the difference in the results between a linear analysis and a P delta analysis. So with the P delta analysis all our results were um, increased. So in other words the linear static analysis was underestimating um, our displacement, our maximum vertical reaction and our maximum moment reaction. Um, so in the case of displacement and the moment reaction it was a 40 percent increase with the p-delta analysis. So this really goes to show how the linear static analysis uh, was not adequate um, in analyzing this model. Really the p-delta analysis um, needed to be run to get more accurate results. So just reiterating that, um, in order to run a p-delta analysis, it's as simple as hovering over the solve button and clicking p-delta analysis. Now, an obvious question is why wouldn't we just use a p-delta analysis all the time instead of a linear static analysis? If it's more accurate, wouldn't we just run it all the time? And the answer to that is, well, engineers like to simplify things and make assumptions. And a big assumption which saves time is linearity. Now given that a p-delta analysis can take up to 10 times as long if not longer um, to converge, it's sometimes it's just too much to keep running a p-delta analysis. So a good idea is to, is to just use your normal linear static analysis but then at the end uh, when you finish modeling run a p-delta analysis just to make sure that your model doesn't have any uh, p-delta effects or significant p-delta effects. Okay, so again just hover over the solve button and click p-delta analysis. It's very simple and you can sign up for this software at skysiv.com. Uh, it's an online or cloud-based structural analysis software that runs through your browser. So I hope to see you guys on board. Thanks.